Hi everybody, Orly Steinberg, only Orly, from Keller Williams in Ringwood with the Mortgage Minute with my friend and mortgage person, Dean Scaduto, the mortgage guy. Thank you. So today we're going to discuss your debt to income ratio. Basically what you're spending and what you're spending it on. So tell me the importance of the debt to income ratio and how that works. Sure, well the debt to income ratio, that's what determines how much you could buy. I like to call it the 50% rule. So generally, your expenses have to remain about 50% of your income. So we could do some really quick backwards math. Let's say you make 120,000 a year, that's 10,000 a month. What's 50% of that, right? $5,000. For the expense part, we're gonna look at all the payments on your credit report. Let's say you have 1500 bucks worth of things on your credit report. Now that 5000 became 3500, that's roughly the monthly payment that you can afford and that's our lease. So my job would job. be to find you a house with $3500 a month in a payment including taxes and insurance. Um, so what kind of a house would that be? What price point about 600, would you say? That would be about 600 based on property taxes. Excellent, right? so $600,000 house, $3,500 a month, which a lot of rents are there today. Good reason to buy, so keep your debt to income ratio good. Great advice, Dean, thank you as always. Orly Steinberg, 973-945-1070. DeanTheMortgageGuy.com.